So welcome to our demonstration of the digital twin of a cloud data center. My name is Sharon Gomes and the supervisors for this budget are Adele and Bharat. So let's begin by talking about the data center management and monitoring challenging challenges. So the main uh, challenging tasks that we are focusing on are admins that uh, are these uh, as follows. So the admins need to have real real time and unified information about their data centers, resources, and health status to make a quick decision. So for example, in the case of maintenance, uh, maintaining a, a failing hypervisor, the admin would need to migrate the VMs from that hypervisor to another hypervisor. So they might not be able to see the resources used or how many, how many VMs they can move from this hypervisor to that hypervisor in a, in a tabular format, or it might be highly com complex or time consuming to view that data. So that, that moves on to the next step. The next for a problem task, that would be the table and uh, text table view of data often fail to deliver admins all essential requirements. So collecting all information in a single table is not practical as it would have too much data. And the location, uh, you cannot ascertain the location of a physical server by viewing uh, the data in a tabular format. So the next problem area would be, uh, admin would need to have a lot of knowledge and expertise to understand and analyze the dashboard's different aspects because the dashboard is highly complex and it's time consuming to read. So we have come up with a solution that can help alleviate some of these problem areas. And that solution is the digital twin. So the definition of a digital twin is that it is a virtual representation of a physical object, compromising of information about the object. The digital twin is one of the monitoring tools that can help in monitoring and increasing operating efficiency while containing costs. And the digital twin is constructed so that it can receive input from APIs gathering data from the cloud data center. The digital twin would make it possible to visualize aspects such as uh, power consumption, and that's energy, and the structure of the data center, that is the uh, different VMs and uh, hypervisors which are servers. So also our digital twin is bi-directional digital twin, digital twin, which means that it gets data from the API, but we also can manipulate the data and but thereby manipulating the real world data center. So for example, if we migrate something on the model, like if we migrate a VM from one hypervisor to another on our model, that would actually reflect in the real world, real data center. So the ne next uh, next step is how how do we how do we implement this system? So we use G Unity 3D to create the digital twin of the data center. So Unity 3D is an application primarily used to create a big uh, open world 3D games or 2D games is primarily used for game development, but we, we, we are using this to develop a 3D model since it has high fidelity assets and it's primarily used for 3D development. So we are using that to develop a 3D model. So our OpenStack API integration is needed to ensure data transfer between the model and the cluster. This will happen in real time as live data is fed to the digital twin helping and monitoring. So the way the whole system functions is we have a 3D model in Unity that would get the yeah, that would get API that would uh, have request get and post from the OpenStack API, which is getting data from the data center. So we get data by uh, posting uh, by requesting data from the API from the OpenStack API, and then we can post data as well that would actually manipulate the VMs and the hypervisors in the cloud data center. So the next, uh, I'll be talking about the model design, the way we have designed different aspects of the model. So first, we can start off with the virtual machines. So the virtual machines are represented as boxes in the digital twin. That's right here, the box, boxes here. So the next hypervisors and physical servers are represented as plates and after that, the flavors, which are configurations of different aspects of the instance, such as the amount of vCPUs, which are virtual CPUs, memory and storage are represented by the size of the cube. So as you can see here, X large, large, medium, small, and tiny. 
So these represent different flavors. And we can talk about the, the height of each flavor represents the memory. And then the base of each flavor represents the vCPUs. So that means this tiny, which has a small base, would represent um, less vCPUs compared to this large, which has a larger base and a larger height, which would represent more memory and more vCPUs. So next, projects. So data center tenants have different projects represented by different colors of boxes. So for example, we can have multiple projects and each VM can be assigned a different project. So each VM would have will be have would have different colors depending on which project they are assigned to. So next we can talk about additional features, but before I talk about that, this here is the is the rack of uh, of servers at the uni. And this is the 3D model of that rack. So if we if we have currently we have only one rack. So if we had multiple racks at the uni, we could have multiple um, 3D models, so like multiple racks of the model, so one here and then one next to each other, something like this. So it would be next to each other, and that would so that shows that this model is scalable. So then I can speak about the other features. Energy is shown as a gradient of colors between red, which signifies the highest energy consumption, and blue, which signifies the lowest energy consumption. As you can see here, the colors uh, go from red and then they go to purple. So that's red is the highest energy consumption, purple is less than that, then there's pink, pinkish, and then there's these blue, and blue signifies the lowest energy consumption. So next we can talk about migration. To migrate a VM from one hypervisor to another, the user might drag and drop a box from a plate to another. So for example, if I want to migrate this VM, from this hypervisor to this one, I just can drag and drop, and that would send a post request to the API signifying that this VM wants, uh, this is a migration taking place of this VM to this hypervisor. So next we have a start and shut off of, start and shut off of virtual machines and physical servers. So the user can shut off or power on a VM or physical server by long right clicking a box or a plate. So if I want to, turn on this VM. So this, this is a VM that's turned off right now because it's transparent. So I can right click it and I'll wait, I can wait. So the model would, so the model would start blinking. So the box would start blinking, signifying that it's going to turn on or off. Uh, and we, we can also do that for the plate since these plates are also transparent. So they can be turned on and off. And then lastly, we represent the power state. So we use transparency to show a VM or physical server is suspended or shut off. So as you can see, when it's transparent, it's shut off or suspended. And when it is opaque, it is turned on. So the uh, hypervisor, this hypervisor is turned off, whereas this hypervisor is turned off. And this VM is suspended or turned off, whereas this one is on. So next I'll demo the, the model. Okay. The demo, but before I demo, I can show the OpenStack dashboard. So this is the OpenStack dashboard. As you can see, it's in a tabular format. There's a lot of data here. This is for instances. I can show you for the login account. I can show you for the hypervisors. Right. So these are for the hypervisors. This is data for the hypervisors shown in the OpenStack dashboard. And each, again, as you can see, there are different projects that will I'll show you how it looks like in the digital twin now. So this is the digital twin. As we can see the, the cubes, or the boxes represent the VMs and uh, the plates represent the servers. We can see the different colors of the plates represent the energy and the different colors of the cubes represent the projects. The transparency represents whether they are turned on or off. So you can see that this one's off as this one's on. Uh, that goes for both the hypervisors and the VMs. So I can showcase a feature of the model where I want to turn this VM off. So I just right click that. 
and that should send a request. Then the VM starts blinking, signifying that it is being turned off and the model would refresh. And there we go, it's turned off now, it's transparent. So that's one of the features of the digital twin. Another one is, for example, if we want to migrate this VM from here to this hypervisor, so we would just drag and drop it and that would send a API request and the model would update. So it would send uh, the IDs of this VM and the IDs of this server. And, but currently it would take a lot of time and there's a, a little bug here. So I, I won't be showcasing that right now. So next I'll showcase the energy readings. So now I'm gonna showcase how the energy readings are shown in the 3D model. So the hypervisors, would change colors depending on how much energy they consume. So I'm going to stress one of the servers. That's server eight. That's the one at the bottom here. So when I start setting it, stressing it, you can see that the model update is updating live. So it change it would change its color from sort of dark purple, which is not much energy consumption, to a red, which is a lot of energy consumption. So we can also start stressing another one to showcase. What happens there? So we will uh, SS, SSH to compute one and we'll stress this one as well. See what happens to compute one. So as you can see, once I stop stressing, the color changed back to purple. And you can see here that the color has gone to red. It's really stressed out right now. So we just call that. Let's let it calm down. So, should, yeah, there we go. So now it's dropping back. And it's another feature of the Unity model that it, it can get live updates from the API and thus uh, signifying the different energy changes. Or if, if something happens to the, if somebody makes changes to the, 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 the to OpenStack, like somebody migrates it, so it will migrate here as well. Somebody turns on or off, a project will turn on or off in the digital twin as well. So this is a real-time live model of the cloud data center. So that's the end of the demo. Thank you for watching. Thank